warm springtime sunshine today drenched the park where the darkest of crimes was committed last night. The Easter fun fair that became the scene of such horror as children here laughed and played as their parents looked on. This photograph shows the exact spot. You can see now how the bomber created such carnage. As police searched for evidence, local people gathered quietly searching for answers. I picked up the injured to move them away. I saw bodies with heads and legs blown off. Men, women and children just lying here. I found the leg of a child who must have been six months old. I picked up many injured people. I didn't feel well after that and went home as if my body was no longer responding. In the dark last night, it took hours before the sheer scale of this act of mass murder became clear. Many victims were Christians and often targeted minority in Pakistan, although police say most of those killed and injured were Muslims. Outside Lahore's hospitals, confusion. Raw grief. In a country sickened and worn down by its jihadist plague, this was the biggest single atrocity since the attack on a school a year and three months ago, when 150 were killed, mostly children. Lahore, cultural, political heart of Pakistan, and no stranger to terror, is shell-shocked. The attack has drawn worldwide condemnation. Pakistan's Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif visited survivors in hospital this morning. The attackers struck at the heart of his political power base, and the truth is they've exposed fatal flaws in intelligence about militant networks. Nawaz Sharif ordered an immediate fight back. It's only because we've been strong, he said, that they've been hitting soft targets. The attack was quickly claimed by Esanullah Esan, spokesman for a splinter group of the Pakistan Taliban, fighting for a Sharia state. He told Channel 4 News, We have carried out the attack. The Christian festival was our target. We have attacked and we have killed them. He said the bombing had specifically targeted Christians celebrating Easter, adding that we had been waiting for this moment for a long time. This is the funeral of Sahil Parvez, an 11-year-old boy from a Christian family. At least 29 of the dead were children. He left us, she's crying. He was so young. As they took Sahil Parvez off for burial, news broke of arrests of terrorist suspects in Lahore and two other cities. The fight back has started.